We're here in the IMT in the U.S. section. Uh, we've got comrades all around the world that engage in the same struggle. We have our, our, our brothers and sisters everywhere that are, that are fighting uh, for Marxist ideas in, in a wide range of movements and in a wide range of conditions. And it, it's just really exciting to be a part of something that, that's truly global uh, and that uh, you, know, you can palpably feel the advances that are taking place uh, in one country after another. Welcome to the 2016 Congress of the U.S. Section of the IMT. And yes, the society is degenerate. The society is, uh, is, is full of ills and scandals. You know, uh, 60 million people die every year from malnutrition. But as the comrade explained, there's enough food to feed society. But the words, they, they won't do it on a capitalist basis because they're there for making profit. We have the potential to uh, create a wondrous society. Paradise on Earth by using the technology, the science uh, that is already there. It was applied to the interests of humankind as opposed to the profits of the, of the multinationals. That's the inherent uh, problems of, of the capitalist system. They were able to get away with it in the past. The contradictions were smoothed over in the past. Now they're coming to the fore, dialectically. They're even worse than before because of this, the pent up situation in, in the past. When 2008 happened, we, we indicated clearly that this was the contradiction of capitalism building up over an entire historical period, opening up a new epoch. And that's what we've been living through. That's what's been sinking in more and more, not just for, for the masses, for us as well. You know, for the, for the working class, every big event that's clarified the real nature of capitalism has been something that's deepened their resolve, something that they've drawn conclusions from. And for us as Marxists, you know, this is an understanding that the working class is starting to come to the conclusions that are going to lead them onto this path of transforming society. Of course, uh, our tasks uh, are difficult, but uh, nothing's uh, well, well worthwhile in this world without a bit of an effort. There's no way out on a capitalist basis. There's no solution to their problems. They can linger on, linger on, linger on. That's why it's a protracted development of events. But it gives us time, precious time, that we must not squander to build up our forces, to educate our forces, train our forces, so that we become a factor in the situation in the coming period. That is the perspective, our perspective. So in addition to discussing the, the world situation, we're discussing the situation in the United States, because obviously we've got to work here, uh, and this is the most important imperialist power, the most important capitalist power in the world, and the revolutionary events that are coming here are going to transform the world. The revolution in the United States will mean the liberation of humanity from capitalism, the socialist revolution. When the U.S. working class begins to mobilize, becomes conscious of its power, of its strength, of its unity, it's going to transform everything. So uh, we're seeing the beginning of the beginning of this process of radicalization, of transforming consciousness. So it's very exciting times to be a Marxist. All in favor of that proposal? Any against? Okay, that, that is uh, I believe that the program that we put forward is the only one that can fundamentally transform society, end capitalism, end its racism, its oppression, its sexism, uh, its transphobia, its homophobia, all the horrors that we have to live with, the hunger, uh, the homelessness, the unemployment, the scourges that we as humans don't have to live with anymore. We have the technology, we have the resources to have a completely different kind of society. The only reason we don't have that is because of the structures that we ourselves have put into place, the structures of capitalism that we now can consciously dismantle rip apart and, and, and build society on new foundations. So if people want to do that, we have to be organized. We have to be educated, and there's no better time than now to get involved in the IMT, to educate ourselves, to organize, and then reach out to further and further layers of the working class, of the youth, and, uh, and make that dream a reality in the next uh, historical period. So this is where we're going to make it. This is, where, this is the big time. And comments have to rise in order to uh, meet those... Uh, tasks that will be imposed by history itself on us. No one else is going to do it. We're going to do it. 
And this Congress was part of preparing the card raise for this particular perspective in the next period. Are there going to be difficulties? Well, yes. We're going to have problems, but they're going to be great problems. The problems of growth. This is going to be uh, the beginnings of the American Revolution big time. And we must understand our role and place in that movement. We are a particle, as Trotsky said, a particle of that historical process, each one of us. And that's what we have to bear in mind. So it's convulsion after convulsion after convulsion in which we can knit ourselves with the advanced sections of the working class to create that instrument that will overthrow capitalism in North America and set the, the, the train ablaze of a world revolution in this next epoch. Life is beautiful. Let future generations cleanse it of all evil, oppression and violence, and enjoy it to the full. We are that future generation that he was talking about, especially the youth. So let's go out there, let's win people to the ideas of Marxism, and let's make Trotsky's dream a reality.